Hi, this is Ron Polk, owner of Polk Homes, and today I'm going to do a quick video on the continuation of my new mobile wood shop. This is the early stages, and I've just acquired the vehicle, and I'm still conceptually working it out and getting the, the truck set up to go. First, I'm going to uh, go over some of the pros and the cons, actually get the cons out of the way. Um, generally speaking, I, I have my tool trailer, which if you've seen the other video, you know there's a lot of thought that went in that and it's and it's worked very well for me so what I'm adding uh, by moving to a cube truck is the ability to have a mobile shop as well as a portable shop so I still wanna have my portable shop that I have in my trailer carried in the cube van for the larger jobs but I also wanna have um, my uh, miter stand and my table saw set up for quick jobs and smaller jobs and hopefully get on and off the jobs a little easier with a, a single vehicle rather than the truck and a trailer. Here, um, as the video points out in a lot of detail, is almost 16 feet long. Uh, it's about uh, 14 foot 3 inches inside. I did some uh, quick math and the trailer is uh, a little over 500 cubic feet and the, uh, the new cube van is uh, almost a thousand cubic feet, a little over 900. So I am going up quite a bit in the cubic space and I'm going to take advantage of that. But first, the, the things that I'm going to be giving up, uh, first off, the trailer is close to the ground. With a ramp, it's, it's easy access. Additionally, I can drop it off on the job and lock it up, put a tongue lock on it and leave it and have my pickup truck empty for hauling materials and making dump runs and things like that. So I'm going to be giving up that um, pilot vehicle or the transport vehicle and having to go to a, you know, a single truck. Um, I don't see this as a huge problem, but it is a bit of a sacrifice. Obviously, a trailer is uh, pretty economical to, to purchase new. Uh, they have very little maintenance, and the tabs don't cost too much. And in Washington, there's no additional insurance. Uh, going to the truck, obviously, purchasing the truck is quite a bit more expensive than a trailer. Um, in this case, I ended up with a recycled truck from Washington Energy Service. Uh, it was part of their gas piping crew. And it's a Ford F550, so it's a couple ton rig. Um, it, was, it is an 05, so I was able to get a pretty good deal on it. Uh, it had about 84,000 miles on it. Uh, and it seems to be in pretty good shape. I had it checked out pretty good. The um, disadvantages, uh, the, the bed's pretty high up. And uh, so I'm going to have to uh, move in and out of there, uh, climbing up on the, uh, I'll probably put the, the uh, lift gate down about mid-height there for a lot of just in and out. Um, one of the advantages to this lift gate is when it's up in the mode where it's flush to the bed, I can use it as additional floor space when I'm working in my shop. Uh, getting it ready to go, it's kind of in the condition that I got it with uh, one exception. I have painted the floor with a primer, with a hot oil primer because this was the gas piper rig and the uh, floor was pretty oily. Um, I got, had it pressure washed and uh, cleaned it up pretty good but I wanted to get rid of the smell so I uh, primed it with this hot oil primer. Uh, this primer will not be visible when I'm done. The cabinets will be covering most of it and then I'll be tiling the floor with some garage tiles so um, the, the aesthetics of the white with my foot marks on it are no big deal. So the next thing to do is to go in and, and take out the remnants of old electrical and some uh, plywood uh, they had in the back there. And once I get all of that stuff removed, then the next thing I'm going to do is take some sheets of this uh, satin ply. And uh, this is the same material I use for my um, ultimate uh, workbench and miter stand. Uh, this is three quarter inch and I'm going to uh, line the walls floor to ceiling front to back with this so that I have a solid um, surface to mount my cabinets to. One of the other advantages uh, to this unit is it has a translucent ceiling so a lot of light is allowed in. Obviously I'll be adding some fluorescent lights uh, when it's powered up. Uh, I'll have plenty of light in here. So there it is, episode two of my transition from a portable wood shop to a mobile portable wood shop. I'll keep you updated as I progress. Thanks for taking the time to watch.